My name is John Demos. I'm the director of Neurofeedback of Southern Vermont and the author of Getting Started with Neurofeedback. I serve as a licensed counselor in the state of Vermont as well as an accredited BCIA trainer and mentor. I'd like to discuss several new developments that accompany our Getting Started with Neurofeedback workshop programs as well as inviting you as a healthcare professional to participate in one of our new series of online hands-on virtual workshops. Live webcasts are quickly becoming the preferred method of learning for professionals who have an active and busy practice. Online training means no travel, no airports, no hotel rooms. Thousands of dollars are typically saved. Furthermore, workshop burnout is prevented because information is presented once per week rather than four consecutive grueling days. Students are able to practice what they are learning in between sessions. Students are able to absorb the subject rather than being overwhelmed by it. Let's review the actual dollar savings. If we compare on-site workshop with live webcast costs, you will see that the price of the workshop is about the same. But what changes are the costs involved with travel, hotel, food, and lost work time. The typical savings, $1,745. Additionally, since workshops, that is live webcast workshops, occur once each week on a Friday, while you may suffer no lost work time whatsoever if your clinic closes on Friday. Compare brain map options. When you first get started with neurofeedback, it's just so important that you can see an image of the brain, that you can see how the EEG is influenced by neurologically specific sites. The Mini-Q startup cost package with brain maps is $3,450. If you use DZCAP database software and caps, it's less than $700 to get set up. Typical savings, $2,750. Let's compare the startup costs again. It's almost $10,000 to do an on-site workshop if you include everything. Of course, brain maps, travel time, workshop costs, hardware, etc. However, a live webcast BCIA accredited workshop with the same equipment but using DZ Caps and Brain Map software assessment tools costs about 50%. In other words, the total saving is $4,495, not to mention that two to three weeks after the workshop is closed, there's a four hour post module added as a bonus at no extra charge. Prepare for the future. As your practice expands, you will likely invest in discovery. QEG hardware with NeuroGuide FDA cleared software and EEG recording caps which will cost about twelve to thirteen thousand dollars. When you are ready to take that step live webcast seminars will be available for free. On-site training workshops with Neurofeedback of Southern Vermont will also be free if you purchase the discovery package from our company Neurofeedback of Southern Vermont there is a distinctive advantage to using DZ caps. DZ caps, as pictured here, simplify the task of electrode montages. New ones to the field can do four channel montages in just a few minutes. Accurate montages. DZ cap software provides an extensive symptom checklist. And this is the symptom checklist uh, is also reinforced by a database, a 70-person database computed by age. The DZ cap application is quite simple. Place the cap on the client's head. Inject the desired sites. Abrade the sites with a Q-tip. You have chosen the correct sites ahead of time and the, uh, the abrading process with a Q-tip is simple. Four channel montages are faster and easier than ever before. And DZ Cap Assessment Software has an extensive symptom checklist. If your client, for example, had these symptoms, it would likely apply to the left motor auditory cortex. Click that or check that box, and there it is on the brain. It lights up. And in addition to that, why, of course, Z score training protocols are suggested. 
What about brain maps? Here is a typical DZCAP jewel finder brain map. And there we see eight bandwidths. And according to the coloration, we know if the standard deviations are high or low. And this suggests where we should train that client with z-scores as well. There's also a data review page, which gives us signatures such as left hemisphere alpha asymmetries, which will often reflect depression, headache alerts, which in this case did not come on, and also theta to beta ratio, so common in attention deficit disorder. Z-score training is highlighted in our workshop. Four channel Z-score training, which is so easy to start with enhanced protocols developed at Neurofeedback of Southern Vermont as well as DZ caps. Easy to do, easy to apply. But you're not sure what Z-score training is? Play the YouTube on our homepage entitled Getting Started with Dynamic Z-score Training. Once you see that YouTube, you'll realize that live statistics can guide you in protocol selection. They will reinforce you when you're deciding if this is to continue that same protocol. Training progress is monitored because you're now guided by EEG data that is processed by state-of-the-art equipment and software. Just a reminder before you register for this workshop. Our workshops are accredited by BCIA, the Biofeedback Certification International Alliance. Participants will receive 28 CEs as well as 32 BCIA Blueprint hours. Most participants are able to add neurofeedback to their practice shortly after the course's completion. Furthermore, two to three weeks after the course has ended, students are invited to attend a post-workshop additional four-hour seminar to solidify workshop learning. If you are a professional health care provider who would like to add neurofeedback to your practice in a cost-effective manner, Consider our program, which will offer you personal attention and practical state-of-the-art training in neurofeedback and Z-score training applications. Please call us by telephone, Skype, email us, and we can discuss with you the potential of adding neurofeedback to your practice. To register for this workshop, 